Now, what we've seen before is a proof of the base angles theorems, which says that if I have an isosceles triangle, in other words, if AB is congruent to BC, then angles A and C are congruent to each other. Now what we're looking at is the converse of that, which is saying if I give you these two triangles, these two angles down here, A and C are congruent to each other, can we prove that AB is congruent to BC? Okay. And we're going to try a similar technique to what we did last time, which is we have to find some way to split this triangle in half. Okay. Now. It's important to note here that there's several different ways that I could split a triangle in half. I actually have some, some options. I could try and split it so that I get them find the midpoint here and take uh, these two sides here that are congruent to each other. Um, but, but that's not really going to help us here. And I'm going to complete this proof and go back to this point, to, the, to that point in just a minute. Okay? So instead of finding the midpoint of AC, what I'm going to do is bisect angle B. Okay, so draw the bisector of angle B. So I'm going to draw a line down the middle here that's going to cut angle B in half. In other words, into two uh, congruent angles. And I'm going to put a dot here and call this D. So um, where, where this bisector of angle B intersects AC, I'm going to call that point D. Okay. Now, be, if once I have this, this bisector drawn in, um, I can prove fairly quickly that, angle, that these two triangles, ABD and CBD, are congruent using angle, angle side. So um, just to mix things up a little bit, what I'm going to do here is use a flow proof uh, instead of uh, our traditional two-column proof. Okay. So the first thing, I'm, and with the flow proof, we start with the conclusion. We start by saying that AB is congruent to BC. So basically, this side here is congruent to this side. Now the only way that could be true, given the information that we have here, is if we show the two triangles as being congruent to each other. So I'd have to show that angle ABD, triangle ABD rather, is congruent to triangle CBD. Okay. And once I, sh if I can show this is true, then this statement is true by CPCT or corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Okay. So now the question becomes, how can I prove that this statement is true? In other words, how can I prove that these two triangles on the left and right are congruent to each other? Well, if you look here, I have an angle. These two angles, A and C, are already congruent. That's given to me. These two angles right here, C, B, D, C, B, D, and A, B, D, are congruent to each other. They're congruent because of the definition of a bisector. And finally, the line down the middle here, the blue line here, BD, is congruent to itself. So that gives me a side. Okay? So my method for showing that this is true is going to be uh, angle, angle, side. And in order to do that, I need to show that an angle is congruent to another angle. And I can say that angle A is congruent to angle C and this was given. Second statement that I can say is that angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD. So angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD. Okay. And this and the reason I have these two angles in the first place is because I drew the bisector uh, of angle B. So my reasoning here is that it's the definition of bisector. So this gives me an angle. This gives me an angle. And I need one more statement using uh, the side. Okay. And 
the statement that I'm going to get from here is using this line down the middle here. I can say that BD is congruent to DB. And my reason is that it's reflexive. Okay. And there you have it, a complete flow proof uh, of the base angles converse. Drawing the bisector and then proving that the two resulting triangles, ABD and CBD, are congruent to each other. So BC, sorry, AB and BC have to be congruent to each other as well. So that, what that means is that if the two base angles are congruent, then what I'm looking at is an isosceles triangle.